Rich people are just like us. Well, besides the wads of cash, but like everyone else, rich people fall in and out of love and their relationships are just as complicated as anyone else's. To prove it, we're gonna take a look at the marriages of some of history's richest couples. Microsoft founder Bill Gates has billions of dollars to his name, but he and his wife Melinda aren't hoarding it for themselves. The couple are famous for their charitable contributions, and together with fellow billionaire Warren Buffett, created the Giving Pledge, which encourages billionaires to give the majority of their wealth away. The couple have raised their three children modestly, not even allowing them to have cell phones until they turned 14. Their kids will also have to make their own way in the world. Bill and Melinda only plan to leave them enough to be comfortable, but not so much that they don't have to work. In the 2018 annual letter for the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, which is the world's largest philanthropic foundation with a trust of more than $40 billion, the couple wrote, We think philanthropy is a basic responsibility of anyone with a lot of money. Once you've taken care of yourself and your children, the best use of extra wealth is to give it back to society. Jeff Bezos became the richest man in history with a jaw-dropping fortune of over $100 billion. The Amazon founder and CEO has had an inspiring career, but even more impressive was his strong marriage to author Mackenzie Bezos, until news broke of their split in January 2019. Despite the demise of their marriage, we can't discount the fact that Mackenzie was with him through it all and was by his side when he founded Amazon and built it into the powerhouse company it is today. The novelist met her future husband when she interviewed with him at a New York hedge fund. Within three months of their first date, they were engaged. They were married in 1993 and moved to Seattle the following year after Jeff had the idea for the company that would eventually become Amazon. The couple have four kids and 25 years of marriage together, and even though it ended in divorce, they revealed in a joint statement that they will remain a family and, quote, would do it all again. One of the most iconic power couples of modern times, Kanye West and Kim Kardashian West are also among the richest, with a combined net worth of $600 million. The rapper and the TV personality were married in 2014 and have three children together. West is Kardashian's third husband, after music producer Damon Thomas and NBA player Chris Humphreys. While the Wests appear to still be going strong, Kim admitted that motherhood has put a strain on their marriage. The reality star said in a September 2018 episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians that Kanye feels that she neglects him in favor of their kids. Kim has also said that she's lost a lot of her independence since marrying the rapper. And when you get married and you have a husband that has their career and then you have kids. David and Victoria Beckham have been together since 1997 when the former Spice Girl met the soccer player in the Manchester United Players Lounge. Since then, Posh and Bex have become an international power couple, each bringing roughly $450 million into the relationship. In a world where celebrity marriages are often doomed from the start, the Beckhams have managed to stay together, raising four children in the limelight. While there have been rumors that the couple are headed towards a split, a spokesperson in June 2018 denied it, saying they're nothing but rock solid. David, however, admitted a couple months later that things aren't always picture-perfect in the Beckham household during an appearance on The Sunday Project. To have been married for the amount of time that we have, you know, it's always hard work. Everybody knows that. Warren Buffett is one of the richest men in the world, but lives well below his means. The billionaire resides in a home that he purchased in 1958 for $31,500, and he still drives himself around town in his own standard Cadillac. He married his second wife, Astrid Manx, in 2006 in a no-frill ceremony. The ring was purchased at a discount from his own jewelry company, and after their wedding, the couple dined at the Bonefish Grill, a casual dining franchise. Warren's first wife, Susan, passed away in 2004, but his relationship with Astrid dates back to the 1970s. Warren and Susan first separated in the 70s, although the two still maintained a romantic relationship. For decades, Warren was involved with both Susan and Astrid, with the knowledge and approval of both women. Warren's daughter with Susan, Susie Buffett, told the New York Times that her mother and Astrid had a close friendship and that they, quote, really loved each other. In 1968, five years after the assassination of President John F. Kennedy, his widow, Jackie, married Greek shipping tycoon Aristotle Onassis. Many Americans who had adored the handsome young president and his glamorous first lady were appalled by the match. Jackie was only 39 at the time, while Aristotle claimed to be 62. The fact that America's sweetheart had married a much older man, even one worth millions, seemed like a tragic turn of events in a life that had already been marked by heartbreak. The marriage was, by most accounts, an unhappy one. Aristotle's 1975 obituary in Time read, After the honeymoon, the marriage was filled with what one intimate of Ari's called the Knights of Long Silences. Much of the time, they lived separate lives. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.